Anybody here uh, ever been to jail before? All right, I knew we'd have somebody. <laughs> we might have we might have passed each other in the hall. I don't know. <clears throat> Anybody here ever been to uh, Mexico before? Maybe a couple more of you. Yeah. yeah. Anybody here ever been to jail in Mexico before? I thought that would uh, probably shut you up. <laughs> That's right. Well, I uh, <laughs> had a little thing happen to me um, when I was 19 years old. This song is a true story, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. <laughs> and beer and a dive we shouldn't have been nowhere near. Down in Tijuana, Mexico. Some local girls walked in with love for sale, but we were too young and dumb to tell. Hell, they just seemed so friendly. We didn't know. Now, even if we had been so inclined, these weren't the kind of girls we'd have had in mind. They were ugly, even after seven beers. Bad that we turned them down, so we offered to buy them both around. Figured that'd be our good deed for the year. So we all sat there and we shot the breeze, but unbeknownst to my buddy and me, we were getting charged for the senorita's time. Well, I was seeing red when we got the bill, and there was a bartender that I wanted to kill. So I jumped the counter and tried to dot his eye. Well, I took a swing and he did too And about that time all hell broke loose And the federal rallies busted through the door well, We figured out they set us up Two unsuspecting gringo punks Down there getting drunk in Mexico slung our butts made San Quentin look like a country club and for a long three or four hours there we stood at one point I was feeling extremely warm and I looked down into my alarm a drunk bandito was taking a leak on my foot well by that time I was so scared to death that I damn near did that on myself <laughs> just then the old fat jailer came around he called out our names with a Spanish accent for $57 and a few odd cents. They cut us loose, and we got the hell out of town. Well, that night goes back a whole lot of years, but even now when I see a Dos Equis beer, I get all shook up and I flash right back to them. I'm a little bit older and wiser these days, so I keep my ass in the United States. I ain't never going back to that country again. You can take this as a warning, or you can swear it was a lie. Don't go trying to say you wasn't told. And for your own sake, I hope your luck ain't near as bad as mine. If you plan on getting drunk in Mexico, I'll just let me warn you if you ever go down there. They will take advantage of your gringo behind. <laughs> 